Feels like it's got that squeaky clean concern. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Miss Lauren Lee 11. If you're new, thank you for coming by and having a look. If you've already subscribed, thank you guys. Appreciate you all. So this video is actually subscriber recommended. So thank you to the subscriber who recommended this video. I'm happy to do reviews if you request one or if you recommend one, just let me know. Okay, so guys, I'm just gonna jump straight into it. This is my hairstyle from my last video, how to reduce volume. As you can see, I did try to push my hair to a fifth day, and these are the end results. So, you know, <laughs> as I said, I wash my hair every four days, and now my hair's gone flat and limp and greasy, because, you know, I didn't abide by the rules, and the hair thought it was gonna teach me a lesson. So today, I'm listening to my hair, and I'm gonna go ahead and wash it, okay? But I just thought it'd be interesting, just to show you the final, ultimate result of that last video, which I done. If you do want to go and watch that, you can click the link now or stay for this video first and then go and watch that video. The link is down below also in the description box. So, going by the title of today's video, I'm going to be testing a washout conditioner from the store Lidl. Now, if you're not familiar with Lidl, it's a store like Aldi. I know there's Aldi in the US um, and other places in Europe and there's also Lidl's in Europe, but if you're not familiar with Lidl's, it's a, it's a competitor to Aldi. Lidl also have dupes of different products. They'll have a dupe of Herbal Essences, Tresemme, Head and & Shoulders and last but not least, Aussie. So this is their brand, Lidl's brand of the Aussie conditioner and it's Mega Moisture Conditioner. They had Mega Volume Conditioner but I don't want Mega Volume, I want moisture, I always want moisture. So it says Mega Moisture Conditioner for dry or damaged hair. Now my hair's not dry or damaged, it can get dry, so I thought why not go for this one. Not too much of a fan of our line of Aussie Moist over here in the UK. I prefer the one in the States because it just feels more creamy and this one feels more lathery and foamy if that makes sense. But I'm gonna give this a try and see what happens. Hey guys, also, just to let you know, as it is a dupe, the price was fairly nice and neat. <laughs> 99p, yes, 99p. And I didn't want to pick up more just because I might not like it. But if I do like it, I may collect some more. Yeah, just continue to use it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go off, wash my hair with my Suave shampoo. And then I'm gonna come back once the shampoo's washed out my hair and apply the conditioner on camera and see how it works with my hair. So I'm gonna be testing detangling, slip, and overall moisture. All right guys, so I will see you in a minute. So guys, my hair's been washed and I'm back ready to show you how this conditioner works. Now as I said, I used a suave moisturizing shampoo, but my hair still feels a little bit stripped. So it feels like it's got that squeaky clean, listen. <laughs> it's got that squeaky clean feeling, literally. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-moisturize my hair with a little dupe Aussie Moist conditioner. So, I can't exactly remember what the Aussie Moist over here smells like, but it's got a really nice fragrance. It seems quite watery. Oh, amazing. Got a really, really good slip. Don't tell Aussie this, but I think I prefer this one. <laughs> this part of my hair was so knotted, guys. And this has just literally melted the knots like butter. So let me just separate my hair as I do. Wow, very nice. So those tangles have gone. Those tangles have gone. I really don't like the feeling of hair in between my fingers. <laughs> right, so let me read how, it's, how long you're meant to leave it on your hair for, because I didn't actually read the instructions to you guys or what it contains. Okay, so it contains Australian macadamia nut oil and aloe vera. Macadamia nut oil and aloe vera are perfectly balanced in this formation to lock in moisture for smoother, more conditioned looking hair. The macadamia nut oil helps transform lackluster locks into soft, healthy and beautifully hydrated hair. Whilst aloe vera possesses excellent nutritional qualities that helps replenish moisture for a more natural and radiant shine. The directions, it says, gently massage into wet hair after shampooing. Leave for two to three minutes. 
Then rinse thoroughly. I like the fact that my hair was easy to detangle, quick to detangle, and the slick was great. It smells, mm, smells so good. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead, get on with the rest of my hair. Then once I've left it in for two to three minutes, this is much we like left it in for longer than three minutes now. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. My hair is low porosity, so it does take a while for products to seat into my strands. So it's fine. I've applied it to each section. As you can see, my curls are juicy, defined, detangled. So moisture, absolutely. Detangling, absolutely. And smell, absolutely. Slip, absolutely. Um, in regards to the texture, even though it has a nice slip, it's still got that foamy type of lather kind of, almost like a mousse that I can describe it as. That foamy type texture. I'm not a fan of that. I, I usually prefer my conditioners to be a bit more creamy, but this is fine. It's actually fine. It's not over the top. And I'm really impressed with it. I'm going to go wash it out and I will be back with my final verdict. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm back. My hair is dripping and these are the final results. My hair feels fluffy. It is defined as you can see. It's moisturized. Definitely, definitely worth it. To the subscriber who recommended this or requested this, thank you so much. Okay, there you have it guys. Absolutely yes, I'd say go out and purchase this one. Give it a try. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!